Hello everyone and welcome to Disney Castle, one of the many worlds from the Kingdom Hearts series of video games. This year marked the 20th anniversary of the original Kingdom Hearts game. I can't believe it's been that long and I didn't want to let that go by without doing something special in Disney Infinity to celebrate especially since the Disney Infinity developers provided the Keyblade that you can unlock in 3.0, and they also created an exclusive King Mickey Power Disc, which gives Mickey his costume from the Kingdom Hearts series. So it seems like maybe they planned to do something with Kingdom Hearts in Disney Infinity at some point, but just didn't have the opportunity. As you can see, I have the King Mickey Power Disc, and let me give you a good look at Mickey in his outfit here. <laughs> if I can get the camera to cooperate a little bit. So let's see. One more try here. There we go. You can kind of get a good look at him. Part of him. <laughs> Maybe if I move around just a bit. There we go. That's a little better. So now you can kind of get a good look at him, but um I picked this up a few months ago and there's no way I could have afforded the power disc on my own because it's crazy expensive. But since YouTube started running ads on my channel, I've saved the ad revenue that I earned and I used it to buy this rare power disc. So thank you Google for buying this for me. <laughs> now this toy box is a sequel of sorts to Kingdom Hearts 2, one of my favorite games in that series. And in my sequel story, Maleficent has found another doorway that goes back in time to the Timeless River era. And um, she once again tries to steal the Cornerstone of Light, which protects the world of Disney Castle. And I designed this toy box for those players who've unlocked the Keyblade in Disney Infinity 3.0, and for those few players lucky enough to have the King Mickey Power Disc. This toy box adventure gives you an opportunity to use both of those items. But you do not need either of those things to enjoy this toy box. I want to make that clear. Now I'm going to play through this entire adventure today, which consists of three toy boxes. We begin in the world of Disney Castle, and um, I've done my best to recreate this in Disney Infinity 3.0, and I'll talk more about the challenges of doing that when we get to the build videos. But this world consists of both Disney Castle and Disney Town. And uh, there's a number of things you can do here besides the main quest. I've got a racetrack here that runs around Disney Castle, and that's a nod to the Rumble Racing minigame in the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep game. There's also a couple of things you can do in the castle. There's a side quest and a flying challenge, but I'm not going to do either of those today. I want to stick to the main quest because that's going to take up all of my time. But uh, we'll go to the top of the castle here at the entrance, and this is where the main quest starts. So as we enter this area, here come Heartless. And you'll notice Mickey doesn't have the Keyblade right now. <laughs> he wasn't expecting trouble. So we'll have to get that out of the castle here in a moment. Oh, looks like that's everything. Good job, Goofy. <laughs> Excellent work. All right, there's another radar marker now inside the castle, and so we'll go see what that is. And as we come into this little area, this corridor was actually in the video game. The gardens are down here. We'll take a look at those in a moment. And the original game at the end of the castle, at the end of the hallway here, was the library, and I did not include that here. The throne room is through here. And there's Queen Minnie, and she needs our help. And uh, there's a new radar marker out that way, which we'll check out in a minute. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to move those creativity toys out of the way. But before we can leave, we need the Keyblade. So there we go. And now we're ready for trouble. Now we're going to be heading over to Merlin's Castle out that way. We could just run over that way, but it would be easier if we take a ride. So we come down here into the gardens, 
and this should look very familiar to those of you who have played Kingdom Hearts or Kingdom Hearts 2. I tried my best to recreate this from uh, the original video game. So here's the castle shrubbery and in the Kingdom Hearts game you can enter a doorway here that will take you down below the castle where you can get the gummy ship that takes you to other worlds but uh, I didn't include that here. There's also a sword back here for those who do not have the Keyblade and you can take that and play with that instead. And out the back here we have the stables. So let's get ourselves a horse and we'll go out the back door and we'll head over to Merlin's castle because Merlin should be able to help us. We need to know why the Heartless are here. They shouldn't be here because in Kingdom Hearts 2 we close the doorway leading to Timeless River. So something must be going on with that cornerstone of light. And here we got Heartless again, but this time we have the Keyblade. <laughs> Good job, Goofy. Get my sparks. Oh, we have more Heartless. Now with the Keyblade, those of you who have not unlocked this or seen it, you actually have some spells you can cast. So if you do one attack, no, not there, you can launch a fireball. So you press the attack key once. Of course, you can swing it um, like any other weapon. There's also a few other tricks you can do. Let me see if I can remember what they are. So if we launch a fireball. There we go. We can launch a freezing ray by doing three uh, presses of the attack button with a little delay between them. takes so long to set up though but that's not very uh, practical I've found. Whoa. What was that? Oh that was my power disc. <laughs> Alright so Merlin's castle is over there. Another spell that you can do with the Keyblade is if you do a ground pound while you're wielding this can do this uh, nifty little massive attack there. So we're going to try that out here in a little while. All right, Merlin, what's up? He says, collect the coins. So in order to open a portal to Timeless River, he needs an ingredient that he doesn't have. And there's a new radar marker. So we need to head out that way. So let's go pick up our mount. And we'll head in that direction. Whoa. And there's a little farm over here. What we need is apparently over here at this farm. Nope, more heartless. Lots of sparks. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's try that massive spell. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't seem to do anything to him, does it? <laughs> Maybe he's just too powerful. Oh, my sidekick got him. Nice. I need a little healing, though. Man, well, I got you. There's a sidekick well here. So we'll toss him in. And there, uh, there's our beanstalk. So putting him in there created this beanstalk. And that's... Uh, a nod to one of my favorite old cartoons, Mickey and the Beanstalk. So we're going to climb the Beanstalk now. 
because the magic mushroom that Merlin needs is at the top of the beanstalk. And we can't linger long. <laughs> that would be bad. Actually, nothing bad would happen except we'd fall and miss our opportunity. There we go. Woohoo! Got it. All right, now we'll head back over to Merlin. Yeah, hurry! Bullseye is happy too. <laughs> that was a sudden stop. There we go. I've been working on this toy box for about six months. And um, I was hoping to have this ready to go back in March or April, which is when the 20th anniversary of the Kingdom Hearts game was. But this just was not ready to go at that point and I didn't have the King Mickey power disc yet and so there was some gameplay issues that I had with this the flow just wasn't right and um, just didn't like the uh, the next world that we're gonna visit I had to revise that a few times but um, I think it was worth the delay because it came out pretty well all right Merlin here's your mushroom and now here's the portal to Timeless River. So uh, at this point, I'm going to step into this portal, and then I'll fast forward and meet you there in just a moment. Okay, here we are in the Timeless River world. <laughs> I love how they made this world black and white in the original game, just like the black and white cartoons from uh, back in time. And um, so I did my best to recreate as much of this world as I could in the toy box. And we begin in the exact same spot that we were standing in the future, right next to Merlin's castle, which I thought would be neat because it shows just how much this world has changed from uh, the future uh, from now. And uh, I tried to stick to only black and white as much as possible, but I was kind of limited on the number of building pieces. And I remembered that uh, many of the old black and white movies also used sepia tones. And so I decided I could include some brown building pieces and that worked okay. So as we begin, the cornerstone of light is over there. So we'll jump down here and we've got a couple of mounts waiting for us. And let's go see what's going on with the cornerstone of light. Now this little fenced-in area here, you may recognize from the Kingdom Hearts 2 game. I believe this is where they found Pete at the dock of the river and had a little battle with him. And as we head back up this way, there's the cornerstone. Oop, and now here come the Heartless. <laughs> <coughs> Yep, took out a fence. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so the cornerstone is safe. So we stop them from doing whatever they're going to do to it. And now we have a new radar marker. So let's go see what's going on over there. And let's go ahead and take our mount with us. Oh, and by the way... That healing capsule might come in handy. I included that just in case you use a sidekick that doesn't have the healing hat. All right, so down here, there is Pete. And he says, not this time. And where'd you go? Whoa, no. <laughs> Maleficent must have done something to him to juice him up, so. Oops, sorry, little zebra dude. <laughs> I 
Okay, that uh, big spell works on him. Oops, there we go. And Pete says that's enough. He's had enough. So now on the radar, we have three new radar markers. You can see one of them is over there by that old tree. And uh, so there's something we have to do with these sidekick trees in order to unlock the portal that will take us to Maleficent's castle. And that's the portal that she's been using to get back here. Um, but we're gonna have to do something about these guys. You'll notice this portal is not active at the moment. And so in order to destroy this, or in order to activate that tree, we gotta do something with this uh, cauldron. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh, good job, sidekick. All right. And now you can see that the sidekick door is active, so now we can toss Goofy in there. And there is the portal that takes us to Maleficent's castle, and that set one of the uh, runes that we need to open that portal. All right, so the next couple of them are over that way. So let's go ahead and hop on our steed and make our way over there. And in the original Timeless River, there were several areas that were kind of disconnected from that area over there. There was a town area, there was a construction site um, where there was a fire, and different things where the players were doing stuff. And uh, so I had to include that somehow in here, and this is where I chose to put it. If we come over to this tree, now this is showing us there's old Mickey out on the street, so we're going to have to go save him. You have to do something different for each of these sidekick trees to unlock them. So, uh... <laughs> Is that all of them? All right. Okay, come back here, young me. Trying to save you, dude. <laughs> there we go. Young me, meet future me. Yeah. All right, and that opened up the portal here, or the sidekick door. Activated that, so come on, Goofy. Need you, buddy. And that opened uh, the second room there. Set that. And the third sidekick door is over here at the construction site. Yeah, more heartless. <laughs> All right, and once again, the door is not active. So in order to activate it, you'll see we have a few new dots on the radar. So we're gonna have to go through this uh, little uh, cliffhanging maze. Of course, Goofy gets up there real easy. And we have some things we have to pick up here. Mm 
And there's another one. And if you need it, here's some sparks for your special move meter. For whatever character you may happen to be playing. And then we got to get over to those ledges. <laughs> Because we can't just teleport up there like Goofy does. And there is the last collectible. But you'll notice I used a black and white collectible for these. So that's really good. And now you'll see the sidekick door down there is uh, on. <laughs> And there's the final rune, which opens the portal to Maleficent's castle. All right, and there's a radar marker that leads us over that way. I really like how this turned out. Those buildings there are a little off-white, so that doesn't quite work, but nothing else I found works really well, and it's not too bad. go. So let's go through the portal and once again I will fast forward and meet you there in just a moment. Okay, here we are in Maleficent's castle, the final toy box for this adventure. To get to Maleficent we're first going to have to face Xehanort, the villain who created all of the Heartless and is working with Maleficent to conquer Disney Castle. And we're also going to have to get through all of Maleficent's goons. <laughs> if I can do anything with my weapon here. There we go. Sorry, Goofy. Oh no, sorry, Goofy. <laughs> All right, I think that took care of them. Yep, looks like that's all of them. All right, let's head into the castle. Oops, where did Goofy go? There he is. And here comes Xehanort, <laughs> or Venom, my stand-in for him. Watch it! Oh no! Time to gotcha. Yikes! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that was actually one of my easier battles. <laughs> I struggle with him. The many times I've played this, testing it out. All right, new radar marker at the top of this tower. There is Maleficent, who is not happy. And I could drop kick her off of the cliff here. Or we can just put her in jail over here, and we'll just do that. <laughs> and there we go. So that's my Kingdom Hearts toy box. 
I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of it. You'll get to see more of this world as we build it, which we'll start doing next time. Before you go, please hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think of my new toy box adventure. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just click my photo in the lower right corner of this video. Have a great day!